Okay, so I couldn't do an intro because I did do these videos off of TikTok because I couldn't do two things at once. I'm really in pain again. So um, I just did this look. So if you want to see how I created it, just keep on watching. <laughs> I've still been in a lot of pain and so I haven't really been able to sit up or anything like that so I'm laying down again on my bed doing a video upstairs so hopefully soon I can start sitting at my desk and being able to record for you guys. I finally was able to make an appointment to go to physical therapy to see how that goes. I've been going to a chiropractor um, so yeah, hopefully this gets better soon and I can go to my regular area to do recordings, but I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I'm going to put them in right now. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. Okay, so I'm coming again with another look. I'm going to do this on this side. I will show you how. So I took my fluffy brush and I'm going in with the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take this shade first and I'm just gonna go right here just like that and then I'm gonna take my bling brush E5 and I'm gonna go in with this shade along right here I'm just gonna put that there just like that and then I'm gonna take this brush from bling brushes and I'm gonna it's E14, and I'm just going to go into the black, and I'm just going to put it in the very, very outer corner. Just remember to go in lightly and then build it up, because if you go on with too much black, it's going to be too much. So then I'm just going to take this color again and go right here. Now I'm going to just take this shade again, and I'm just going to go back like over it here, just to blend those two together. Pretty much like that. And now I'm going to put this palette to the side because I'm going to take my uh, Lunar Eclipse palette from Lunar Beauty. And I'm going to be going in with this shade here in my middle right there. Just like that. But I'm going to take this brush again and I'm just going, I'm not dipping in anymore. I'm just like kind of fanning that out like that so it blends in a little bit more seamlessly. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right in my inner corner. So you should have something like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the Sky High Mascara and I'm just going to put that on my upper lid. And then next I'm just going to take this shade all through there, like all through like my waterline. Well, you know, that bottom part. And then I'm going to just take this on the outer corner. And the same with this, when you use the black for the under, you don't really need to put too much because you can just fan it out and it'll like get wherever you need to go. So then next, I'm going to take the ColourPop uh, Raw Beauty Christy uh, Liquid Liner, well, gel liner for the waterline, and it's in the shade Woodsy. And then I'm just going to put my mascara. So the end result should look like this. Sorry, I put setting powder and I it didn't really spread out because it's old not old but it's like done so I gotta get a new one out but yeah this is what it looks like I think I'm gonna use my cousin slashes I'll show you that next so I'm gonna attempt to put my lashes on that I got from my little PR box from my cousin's website so that way you guys can see what they look like Hopefully I can do this. <laughs> so these are it. Oh, my neighbors are so fucking loud. That's my neighbors, if you can hear them footsteps. But anyway, so yeah, these are the lashes. I had to cut them because they were a little long. Um, I'm not somebody that is like, like, I don't know, like it's hard for me to put on lashes that have like a thick band. So that's why it took me a while. But overall, they're really pretty. My cousin also includes one of these little like clamp things and two of uh, these spoolies or things. Yeah, spoolies. So that's pretty cool. The packaging is pretty nice. Um, 
but if you do like lashes that have thick bands and they are fluttery <laughs> i suggest going on her website and picking up a pair because they're really so pretty i completely forgot that i bought these uh lip pencils from amazon they bring a pack of 12 in different shades um i was recommended to get them they have pencil they're literally like a pencil so you would need like a sharpener but besides the point i'm gonna definitely try them i'm gonna see if i can find one to match this lip and i'm gonna try it out and i will be right back so i think this one kind of matches the most so i'm gonna definitely try this out and show you what it looks like so i think this might actually be a little too pink i'm gonna try another one and see how that so this one doesn't really match either, but at this point, I don't care. I'm just going to put on my lippy. But they do go on really nice and smooth. So I do like them. So I'm going to put on my lippy and see what it looks like. So I found a different lippy that actually would go with this. Right. So overall, I do like the lippies. They do go on really nice. Not lippies, but they're the lip pencils. They do go on really nice. I got them from Amazon. I'm going to try and link the link them in the description box down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please let me know if you guys if you guys like the way that I did this. I know I've been laying on my bed and it's annoying. I know. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please uh, subscribe and click the notification button down below to get all my future uploads. Bye.